Hey you guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm just gonna kinda get the planning lines out of our new mail room. Oh yeah, mail room is good. Now we're just gonna have to put some jobs in there. Yep, put some people to work in there and we're good to go. Uh, the shop is set up. Do we have people working in there too? Mm, we could have one more. That's cool. Uh, library, you know, all well, the books are kind of set up, so there's really kind of a maintenance at this point. I don't think it, we need a whole lot of people in the library to work. We'll put one more in there. That's fine. Laundry is completely worked. This laundry is completely worked, and this laundry is completely worked. So that's good. We don't need anything more going on with that, do you? Okay, so what are we going to do with this episode? I think this episode is going to be about... Well, I mean, there's going to be about several things, but I think basketball is one of those things we're definitely going to want to set up. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go to programs. Uh oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, I took prisoner intake. 30 maximum prisoners. Okay, intake is closed now. Thanks for coming. Um, you know, I actually have the capacity for that. Okay, yeah, bring them in. 30, 30 maximum security prisoners. Bring them in. How is deployment doing for this? I think I can put a couple more in the yard. I don't need this many in the common rooms. Uh, is this? Yeah, it's this many in the common room all the time. I don't need that. I would like a couple in there, but like I don't need a whole lot. Uh, I'm gonna put an extra in the laundry. I'll have one hang out in the canteen, and um, yeah, during meal time the canteen is stacked. Oh, we got to do this one too. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then uh, during the yard time this yard is stacked so that's good oh man we got more prisoners coming in now 30 maximum security is coming in there's the bus do we have any gang members 21 12 and 14 blues getting some more recruits there's two of them on this bus that's cool yeah i'm that's that sounds great bring them in <laughs> they need some help you know they need some help, you know. I mean, they, they just do. We got some more reds, more greens. Okay, okay. We got one more bus coming in. Doesn't look like there's any gang any gang members on that bus. So that's good. Get, get them searched, boys. We got so many guards now. We're, we're good to go here. Like, even, even with the intake happening and guards, like, occupying the yard, with all that happening, we still had a whole bunch of guards, like, freed up. Pretty good. Look at red. Red owns this common room now, and I'm not really in a position to stop them right now. Um, I will later, but right now I, I can't yet. So let's just speed up time really quick here. How about we go to, I want to make sure that we get this taken care of, though. 30 maximum security prisoners. I want to make sure this gets taken care of. Got some tasers going off, of course. There's always tasers going off. We get more tasers, more equipment. Look at all the license plates and sheet metal and all sorts of stuff happening in the workshop. Early prisoner releases. This is good. We're making some decent money. Not the best income we could have, but we're making decent money. 56000 now. now. Um, what's going on down here? Uh-oh. Did we... Oh, wow. These guys fought, and uh, we were able to take care of that. And there's no deaths. Pretty cool. 22, 12, and 14. They have... Red has twice as many people as green now. It's pretty impressive. What is Supermax? Did they eat yet? They did. No, he says he's starving. Why is he starving? Let's give them... Should I give them one more eat time? Let's give them an eat time here. So this cook should go to work now. Yep, making some food. And we'll make sure that they get the food they need. Okay, I'm thinking we go to programs, and we're going to get the basketball started. I'm getting excited about the basketball. I think we need training before we have uh, the league, I think. So if I start this, this is no teacher. Who teaches this? Good way to burn some of your inmates' extra energies to keep them distracted. Holds up to six places. It requires a minimum of four players attending this program to start a real-time basketball game, led by a basketball trainer in a basketball training session length. Um, okay. Well, I have the court. 
but do I not have it set up? I think I need to also connect it to the status light. But do I not have the court set up? Like, how does this work? Is it a room? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basketball training. Okay, so this is a room. Just kind of do that. There we go. And so that means that this is the league. We'll just kind of do this. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. Minimum 8 by 10. What? No, this is a this is a template. This should be fine. I popped this in here as a pre predefined thing. Uh, center circle basketball training. Hold on, let's just okay, yeah, just let the time go on a little bit further. So this one should go too, right? Right? Room size 16 by 10. What? What? It's 16 by 18, you silly thing. All right, then that means I need, okay. So let's just go rooms, basketball league, and we'll just extend this out like this. There. There, that's better. All right, so we have basketball league here. Now if I go to programs, come down, basketball training, start. Where is it? Here. So it still, still says no teacher. It still says no teacher. Hold on. It won't let me start because there's no... Required psychology can be made outside of work hours. Repeatable. Each prisoner requires a specific need before joining. Requires a specific need before joining. What does that mean? It says there are a hundred, like 145 people in the queue for this, but I can't activate it. It doesn't let me start it. Uh, basketball, where is it? Can I move it? Oh, that's really sad. It's really sad, you guys. I want, I want this to work. I was getting really excited about this, and it won't, it won't activate. One places, one sessions. Ah, huh. that sucks. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. That 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 sucks. Maybe if I get rid of some of this other stuff. Twenty-five people interested in foundation education. Yeah, let's get people. Let's get students in there. Three qualified for carpentry. We got workshop apprenticeships. I can probably start another one of those. Look at that, another full class, perfect. But like, why not the, why not basketball? Uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna research that. Yeah, I'm gonna research that right now because I want that in this episode. Like I really want basketball going. How many maximum security do we have? 150 maximum security prisoners. How's the gang situation? Got to keep checking the gang situation. Got to got to keep tabs on that for sure. So many reds. They're all bundled together here. They're all in gang business. I think they're going for this common room. Let's get eight people in there. See if we can get some more guards in there to cover this. Come on, guards. Get in there. Stop that from taking... Get, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. You're not taking this over today. Uh, we have this, if you if you recall from last episodes, I don't remember if it was the last one or the two, two episodes ago, but we went ahead and got the land expansion thing. Um, bureaucracy. We, we went ahead and got land expansion and finance. And that is going to allow us to buy land in the neighboring areas. Now, how much does the land cost? Well... This area over here, which is what we're eventually going to be buying first, this is eighty thousand dollars. Okay, like eighty grand. I'm not gonna be doing like I'm not gonna be spending eighty grand on land when I've only got fifty-two, and I'm definitely not gonna be taking out a loan to buy land, especially when I have 
more land over here that I can still use. I know you guys keep saying buy land. I'm not going to do it yet until I have the finances to do it. And before I get the finances to do it, I'm probably going to end up doing the square here. This one and this one. And then eventually, uh, if, if it comes down to it, we'll do this one. Which means back here and over here, I'm not going to do. Like, I'm not going to buy this land. So we're going to have a big square here, 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 and here, over here. Um, that's going to be the land I'm going to want to buy. I think I can buy this over here. So anyway, since I, since I know I'm not going to be buying this stuff back here, what I can do is start getting my perimeter wall set up. Because I know I'm not going to be using this back here. Right, So like on this side, we have this perimeter wall that kind of comes up here, but it doesn't extend itself any further. And having a perimeter wall is really great for people trying to dig their way out. The biggest part where they're digging, though, is over here. They keep digging this way. Uh, I did have a couple dig this way. So maybe eh, we do have some cells here, actually, and they can start digging this way. I have a dog patrolling, but I think the perimeter wall in the back is kind of where I want to go with this first. Perimeter walls are very expensive. Just gonna throw that out there, everyone knows this, but like, look at this. Look at how much this is gonna cost. Like, what is this? This is, this is $31,000 just for this wall. It is so expensive to have a perimeter wall, okay? So until escapes become a huge problem, I'm not even gonna worry about it because I want the money more than I care about that right now. I think we get this stuff. I, I don't know what's going on with basketball. Actually, you know what? I, I said I was going to do it, and I'm going to do it. So let me research the basketball thing really quick. See if I can figure out why. Oh, hang on. Oh, maybe it's this. Game on. Oh, hey, maybe it's that. Hang on. Uh, we don't need the league yet because... Okay, hold on. If that's the case, right, maybe that's what it is. Turn it on, and then... I'm glad I clicked that. It was like a random click, but I'm glad I did uh, Training. Can I do that now? It still says no teacher. Darn it. Darn it, you guys. How do I turn this on? Ball gets deleted, floor, line type, clear connections, connect, delete core, configuration, game on. I mean, come on, man. No teacher. Each prisoner requires a specific need before joining. Way to be vague. I love mod authors that are super vague. All right, let me research this. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. Uh, I did, was doing a couple of things wrong with the basketball system, actually. Uh, the one thing is uh, you're only supposed to zone the courts only, not the surrounding tiles around the court. So I've went ahead and I've just zoned basically right within here, and this is the basketball league zone. So all this stuff is not in there anymore. Same thing with this down here. I was zoning the surrounding tiles as well. And so now it's just this part right here that's zoned. The second thing, and this is probably the, the, the reason why things aren't happening, it's because there's a new staff member, the basketball trainer. Uh, yeah, kind of need that. He's a requirement for this, I'm sure. So, boom. Now we have a basketball trainer. He has an office. The thing is, though, his office is really far away from the court. So I'm going to have to build him an office a little bit closer to the court. And I think a good place for his office is like this staff room right here, right? Like this staff room is good, but what if I made his, another office like right here, right? Like there's a water boiler here, but I don't think that will matter because like whatever, he's a basketball trainer. He can deal with that. So let's see about getting him an office. Do I need it to be, to be completely enclosed with walls, though? That's the part I don't remember. It's been a while since I've made an office. It needs to be indoors and 4x4. Four four. That's all it says. So let's do that. 4x4. Uh, four four. There's an office here and a staff room here. And then this is up here is storage. Cool. Now I'm going to take and make the office desk. And, you know, I'll kind of maybe just put it in the corner like this. It's probably fine. All right, we've got the office desk in place now. Everything's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring this basketball trainer and make sure he goes into the right office. So let's take and de-room this. Now he says he's going to say requires office. He should now go to his regular office. And there he goes. 
Great. I'm not sure what to do with this office. It's just kind of an extra office right now, and I'm sort of thinking I might just go ahead and demolish this and turn this whole thing into a dog kennel. Because, like, I, I know people are thinking, like, we have, like, 20 dogs, but, like, we're not usually using every kennel, right? There's one available here now. This dog is going to go into that kennel. So now there's, like, room for another kennel, but there hasn't really been a huge need because the dogs that are out patrolling... By the time they're tired, like this one's tired right now, right? So let's watch this. This guy's tired right now. He's going to make his way over to the dog kennel because he's tired, right? So let's see if any of these dogs... Look, he's gone. He's ready, right? This dog is now ready. And now this dog has a kennel to sleep in now. So it, it's, it's a nice even switch. There's not really like a whole huge need for more dog kennels. But, because I have had some comments about this, but how about we just do this? How about we just take a dog crate and I'll put like two more in here, okay? Just so there's a little bit more, you know, just so there's a few more, okay? We'll put some more in there. Okay, so now that the basketball trainer has an office right next to the courts, I think it's time we do this. Let's go to programs. Hopefully this works now. Programs. All the way down. Basketball training. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Yes. Basketball training. And I'm going to start like several different sessions. Because it doesn't look like the sessions cost anything. Hmm. Well, it's part of the mod. So that's the way we'll do it. So let's have like a whole bunch of sessions here. So people can like get some training in basketball if they want to. It's going to be super fun. You know what I should do also? Let's Let's... Let's do the scheduling here. Let's make this a little bit better scheduling. We have, where is this basketball training? Here it is. It's all the way up here. Now this is outside of work hours, right? That's a really cool thing. I like that. The fact that we can do this outside of work hours. So let's take a look at the regime really quick. And I'm noticing that this period here from eight to 10 is a lockup period. And it's after they've ate, it's after they've worked, all that stuff, right? How about we make this lockup period a time where they can do basketball, right? Because it, it can happen outside of the work schedule, outside of the regime. I don't know if that's broken, kind of is maybe, but we're gonna use it. So this lockup period here is gonna be used for basketball training. So eight o'clock to 10 o'clock. Go back to edit schedule, eight o'clock to 10 o'clock. We're gonna come down and we're just gonna go like that and like that, and then we'll get rid of the other two. So where is basketball training? Here we go. So let's get rid of this one and this one. We'll just have these two sessions for now. I don't know why they're out of order. That looks strange. Having them out of order looks really, really strange. But reschedule. I guess I'll do this. That just looks really odd. I want it to look right. <laughs> I don't know. That's better. OK, eight, 8 to 9 and then 9 to 10. OK. So there we go, we've got a basketball training. Now I wanna zoom ahead and see what happens with that training. Now, because I made it later in the day, we're actually gonna come up on it a lot quicker. It's six o'clock right now. People are gonna start going to eat. Maximum security is going to eat. We have two canteens now. We've got, let me make sure the regime is, the deployment is good. Oh yeah, we're good, we're covered over there. Uh, we don't need that many in here for this. So we'll put some more in the canteen. Let's put a couple more in this canteen too. The idea is to basically flood these canteens with a whole bunch of guards so we don't have to deal with it, so. I may look to expand this canteen and make it bigger. I think I'm kinda gonna need to because there's a lot of, there's a lot of prisoners eating here. I don't think it's too crowded. I just think it's full. Like I think we're just using it because like there's a whole bunch of room over here still, you know? Oh, wow, big autosave. Uh, there's a whole bunch of room over here. I don't think that this is too small per se. I almost kind of think it's kind of just right. One thing I do want to put over here though, is I want to have a bunch of phones because this meal time is actually a great time for people to start using the phones. So if I just kind of, if I just kind of do like say that, they'll use those phones over there once they're, once they're in there. And then I need to hook those phones up to our monitoring stations. We're not actually listening very well to the phones. I need to, I need to do a little bit better job with listening to phone calls, but for now it's, it's okay. There. So as soon as I install this, the guy starts using the phone. So that's this is a, this is a good idea. We need to do that. Oh, here we go. Basketball, slow this down. Basketball. 
Look, he's got a little ball here. It's got a little smiley face on it. It does. <laughs> he do oh yeah, feed him the rock. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, I'm happy with this. I wonder, like, when we start getting basketball games going on, that's gonna be really cool. Cause then we're gonna see, like, I, I don't know, how, how does the gangs work with this? Oh, hang on, I wanna see if there's... Yeah, there was a couple of different gang members playing against each other. That was one thing I was worried about, is that we might have actual... T like, what if we had, like, the, they organize their teams based on gangs, right? So we have, like, the blue gang versus green gang. Oh, God, that was just... Red gang comes in. I want, I want some of this, too. We have, like, tournaments. God, I wish I had more control over that stuff. I really wish I the game would give me more control over that stuff. Um, let's see. This guy's in lockdown and solitary. So let's do the permanent solitary and end the punishment. Do the permanent lockdown and then do the end punishment. Okay. All right. Awesome. I think this mailroom is the mailroom's getting used. Look at this. All the sorting desks are being used. There's envelopes everywhere. Yeah, we definitely needed an expansion to this mailroom for sure. In fact, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, let's fill that up with maximum jobs too. We need that. It's $51,000. I'm thinking it's nighttime now. Should I put more phones in? Let's put a couple more phones in. Okay. Now, one thing, I'm, I'm going to do this too. We need to get some cells over here. There's a, a, the ability to expand over here with cells. So... I'm going to take concrete and do this. And we'll expand this too. There we go. And then I'm gonna need a door. So let's do the jail door. And we'll have the jail door be on uh, there. And then there and there, we'll also have the jail door. Oh, now this is one thing I, I missed actually, is that this cell is not accessible with this configuration. Oh, that's a problem. All right, well, I guess I won't construct that bit then. So I'll get the refund for that, that's good. I won't construct that bit and we'll, I'll wait on figuring out what to do there. I don't know what I was thinking. When I originally did this, I was like, oh, I'll just put the wall here and then I can have the, do the, the door right here and it can still access the cell. It's a brilliant idea. Yeah, and then you can't get this one, dummy. Uh, it's, all, it's really the net same. The same amount of prisoners can fit in this configuration without this extension. So I'm gonna leave that extension off. Which means this common room really doesn't need to be this jagged shape either, which is good since I haven't actually built it yet. So how about we take away the planning lines and extend this down like that. That'll look better. And then we'll also want to take the path and we'll just make sure that this path is like an actual path still. We're probably gonna need to remove this path. I think the, just laying the foundation will be enough to do that though. In fact, let's just do that now. Foundation, go. And then I want a door, obviously. And we're gonna have, this is a common room, so we're gonna have the door be there. So we'll go ahead and build this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a chapel or not. I'm really not sure what to make this. If you guys have an idea of maybe what we should do in this area, maybe there's an idea that's better than having another chapel. I mean, how is their spiritual needs being met, right? Spirituality is actually not doing too well. We could use some more, and that's, I think, why I wanted another chapel, but really, maybe I could get their needs clothing need is still really like the only thing I really need to focus on like hardcore is the clothing need maybe we make this another laundry <laughs> I mean we do like a laundry here and then like a row of washing machines up here and then we try to figure out a way to have a whole bunch of ironing boards maybe in here I don't know let me know what you guys think we should do with this area okay and we'll we'll see what you guys think and we'll, we'll do whatever we can do um Here's a common room, which, well, yeah, it's gonna be a common room anyway. Uh, let's do the wooden floor, because I kind of like that look for the wooden floors. Uh, then we're gonna do metal detector here. And then we also have the cells to do here. So I'm thinking, let's do, let's lock this door open. 
Oh, it looks like I need to lock all these doors open. Just for now. Because they're not actually... I think they actually wanted a build there and it wasn't working. There we go. Okay, so now I don't need to lock the doors open anymore. I can just do the, the unlock uh, regime kind of thing, or the unlock deployment. So unlocked, unlocked. I don't need to unlock this, actually. This is going to be max deck only. Let's get this started, because, I mean, really, I don't need the expansion before I... I, I want to have another common room in here, just because I think it'd be fun to have. So, utilities, electrical. Let's run the electrical line kind of just up through here. I think that's probably fine. And then we're going to have some objects. How do we want to do this? I'm thinking a pool table in the corner here. Maybe I want... Let's do the television first, so I make sure I have enough room for that. We'll do a large TV. How, how much influence does this have? What's the zone in this? It comes out... Let's just check it. Check it, check it, check it. Where is it? Here it is. Comes out, looks like two squares from its edge. So if I come over here, there we go. And I want to go one more over then. So take objects, go to, where is it? Television. Here it is. So one, two. That will take the coverage for the television all the way to the wall. Perfect. Then we'll go ahead and put chairs in because people like to watch television. There we go. And we'll just kind of do it to there. I don't think we need a whole lot here, so we're just going to do it to there. Then, let's have the pool table down here. Kind of like, I don't think I should do it right next to the wall, but maybe I do it this way. Nah, it's kind of the same thing. I don't know. Let's just put it on the wall. I, I'm pretty sure they can use it on the wall still, so. Uh, we'll have two. Why not? I mean, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's an issue with the game as, as well. Uh, how about we go arcades? Right, we'll put a few arcades over here. This is going to be a place that everyone wants to own, I think. And then let's put a couch, like, let's put a couch here and then maybe, like, a couch over here. Like, right next to the doors? Not really. Uh, maybe, okay, let's take away this arcade and we'll put a couch there. Hmm. You know what? That'll be fine. It's a good common room. I think it's fine. Let's give people uh, a couple of prayer mats, too. Right next to the arcade? Not really. Uh, they can go pray in the corner, maybe? Yeah, you can pray, like, to the wall or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, it's all the same anyway. Uh, let's take this here and lock open. I can't lock it. Oh, because I zoned it, right? Okay, we got $35,000 left. It's 1.30 in the morning, pretty close. Let's take a look really quick at gangs. 22, 12, and 14 still is that. Five kills and $5.49. I need to get them out of here. Let's evict them. Uh, then, look at this. Yeah, we're not, we're not losing the yard anytime soon. Good, good advice with the security room thing. Very cool. Not going to lose that very soon. You see what I mean, though? Like, their cells are like this. They each have their own yard, and yet they still all clump up in the same yard. You know? It almost makes me feel like, why, why even segregate them at all? Why not just have this be one big yard? But then it's, like, too big for four prisoners. I just, I don't know. This is more realistic to what it would be. They'd each have their own yard separated by a fence, and that's, that's, that's what I want. Whether the game does what I want or not is kind of... Meh. Like, it's, like, what am I going to do about it, you know? I don't know. Uh, let's make sure we don't have anybody at risk. So how about we grab Benjamin Ellison? How about we grab Mr. Ellison and we bring him into the security office and see if we can get some details about our prison that we don't know already. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any, like, new legendaries or anything. That's good. Gang members, volatile, strong. People are upset about something. This guy's a pretty, pretty badass, but he's not, like, anyone I need to, like, do anything with. Instigators are no fun. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone really at risk. Got everybody that we need to protect is in protective custody already. 
all of our witness, witnesses are still alive, and there's only about a little bit, a little bit more than a day left in there, uh, and having to protect them. I'm kind of thinking we're good. I don't see anybody that's like a snitch or anything. Ex-law enforcement snitch. I don't see any of that. So now I just have to focus on the contraband. It looks like there's a lot of people in here. This guy's got a tool. We need to get him and search his cell as well. We need to get him. We need to get... Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that search prisoner. And that's gonna put a little bit of suspicion on him, but um, that's okay. Just one little bit of suspicion, I don't think will be a big deal. Uh, what else? Got needles over here, drugs over here. Okay, I think thank you for your service, Mr. Ellison. I think I think I can take it from here. Got a little bit of a box over here. We got a needle over here. We got some stuff in the kitchen. And then we've got alcohol on you. Brown has something. Stee something has something. Somebody over here has a uh, cigarette. Needles and needles. Nas. And vote. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. And then we're going to come up to the kitchen. I think it was... You know, like specific boxes, I'm not sure about. So I'm gonna kind of just search them all. If I can click this instead of, there we go. Uh, the stacking of stuff is kind of, we gotta stack, search, search, search. I'm, I'm just gonna search like a few of these things, like all of these things. <laughs> I'm thinking that's probably the way to go. I don't remember there being anything up here, but it doesn't really, slow anyone down to just have this be searched so i'm just gonna do it anyway now we had something down near the door here we had it was either this stack or this stack not the gardener the stack there we go and let's just do this one anyway okay then we come up here he has something so we'll search him brown has something we'll search him uh, he is going to get his cell searched as well. And then we also had, uh, where is he? This guy had something. Search him. And then Nash had something. We'll search him. And then there was one more. Can I figure out who it was? El he had alcohol. I think it was one of these guys. I'm going to go with this one. And it might have been him, so I'll go with him. Uh, it could be it. Okay. So let's see how successful those searches are. We got a whole bunch of stuff we're finding. Yeah, we got the alcohol guy. Good. Okay, cool. Lots of stuff we discovered. Pretty pumped about that. Yeah. Trying to keep our trying to keep our prison secure. Not allowing contraband to get out of hand. We do have some fighting going on over here. But it's taken care of pretty easily. One thing I could do actually is maybe this area here could be another dog kennel. Because the people who are, the dogs over here have to tra have to travel all the way over here. Yeah, this should be another dog kennel. Let's do that. We're going to go with uh, a brick building. Brick building, that's good. Let's just build it like this. I didn't want people to be, I do kind of want a space here though. So people can walk through there. Although if I just put another door on the other side of the power, power station, then they can walk through there too. So let's just do that instead. How about we go like... I kind of like the fenced-in look, though. Dog kennel doesn't need to be very big. So we'll just do this. Leave a door. There's a door here already for them to walk through, so I'll just keep that as a walkway. And then we want a staff door. Uh, dog kennels are too wide, so really anywhere in the middle will work, so I'm just going to put it there. And let's also put a door in the back as well. That way they can get out and kind of go wherever they want. That's good. Uh-oh. Slow down time here. We got some fighting happening. What? Where is it? Right here. Wow, lots of fighting happening. People are acting out. Are there needs? Is this a needs-based act out? Could be clothing. Man, oh man, clothing is an issue. We're going to have to fix clothing. But we're going to do that in the next episode. This is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Basketball. Got some people training. 
We're going to have some leagues going on. It's going to be exciting. We've got some other people acting out now. I think they're, they're a little upset about their needs. They're acting out now. Let's get these guys over here. Uh, like, in, like inside the cell. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.